Okay. So did you know there's a third way of working in Audition? Not to create a single audio file or a multi-track session, but rather to lay out and author a CD of multiple completed tracks. So here's how you do it. If we go to new file here, you may have noticed that you can choose not only a single audio file or a multi-track session, but also a new CD layout. Let's go ahead and choose that. And now we have untitled CD layout one. And our editor has us drag and drop files into this area here to create our CD. So let's actually go to our media browser and I've got a couple of tracks set up here. Some of these are MP3 files and some are WAV. Now, if you're actually creating a CD, I'm gonna highly suggest that you use uncompressed WAVs to create your CD. What I'm gonna do is select all of these and bring them into our files bin. Now that they're in the files bin, I can take them and drag them into our CD layout. So you can do it one at a time, or you can do multiples at once. And what we see here is the track numbering. So we have track one, two, three, four, and five. And any of these can be rearranged by clicking and dragging them along, and they'll renumber the track names for us. There is an optional pause. The CD specification holds that there should by default be a two second pause between tracks. However, this has a little wiggle room. You can actually take this all the way down to a zero second pause if you want, or increase it. Here we have our start and end times, and the duration of each file. If we were using selections here, we would see something different. And here is the source file that the track is being created from. That's all there really is to it. However, there are a couple of additional things we can do. For instance, if we go to our properties panel here, Here's untitled CD layout one. Now we can put in our CD text here. So things like titles, artists, and so forth. And that will actually come across in the CD text information once we burn our CD. There's also a bit of information here to tell us what the duration is. So this is a very short CD here, 18 minutes and 32 seconds. Of course, a lot of computers no longer have CD drives. Never mind CD burners. But once you are happy with your layout, you can click this button here to burn audio to CD. This computer does happen to have a CD burner, which I could choose. I could place my blank media in there. And once I hit OK, it'll burn the CD for us. And that's how you create a CD layout using pre-recorded tracks inside of Adobe Audition.